path to a college education isn't the same for every student. As a freshman, Melissa Ariola walked down a path that was very bumpy. And the thoughts that would go through her head. Like, oh my God, what are they thinking about me? Are they looking at me? Uh, do I look okay today? On the University of Colorado Boulder campus, the culture is dominated by mostly white students. As a student of color, Melissa found that entering many of her classrooms was a traumatic experience. Because I felt like I was singled out all the time. Like when she asked for help from one of her teachers. And what he said was like, okay, well, how can I help students like you? So when he said students like you, I didn't know if it was like students that can't learn, like, or I didn't know what he tried to say. But to me, once he said that, I totally, I shut off. When everyone else is moving forward, it seemed for Melissa that she was moving backward. The first two years were very hard. Melissa filled her head with self-doubt, even blaming herself for her struggles in class, and she contemplated dropping out of CU. She searched for a safe space where she felt welcomed. A safe place is somewhere where you feel comfortable, where you feel like you're being valued, where you're being respected. Melissa, like other students of color, found these spaces, several of them on campus. So I think that a safe place is something very unique to everybody. She also found a new purpose by becoming a member of a CU Engage research team that released a study this past July about diversity on campus. The CU Engage study found that students of color feel motivated to join campus organizations which help them feel more empowered. The impact the students had on campus provided them with the motivation to help give back to the community. One of the primary ways that I've gotten students involved is through a student organization that was founded called Performers Without Borders. Performers Without Borders works on vocal empowerment for mostly women, and they continue to work in diverse communities. This spring, they went to the Navajo Nation and used theater and performance as a tool for high school students to explore their own clean energy issues. And they ended up performing the show that we've written called Soul, Her, Energy. And it's a, it's a narrative story that leaves room for their authorship, but it also allows um, them to be really immersed in this lexicon of energy, climate, um, other human issues. According to Osnes, this kind of work ends up attracting a more diverse student body. But students of color often come up against numerous speed bumps. It's a challenging, complex process and it takes time. Dave Aragon is the Executive Director for Student Success in the Office of Diversity, Equity and Community Engagement. For years, he ran a multicultural learning program at the College of Engineering, helping students in their first year come together to share their common backgrounds and histories. I have um, a lot of friends on Facebook who were former students at CU that are now, now successful engineers, educators, business professionals, all because these programs do, in fact, have a tremendous impact on students. From 15% five years ago to 20% now, students of color at CU are on the rise, and if those trends continue... CU gradually will become uh, a more diverse student population, and that will have impacts for everybody. The journey towards graduation is sometimes rocky, but the efforts to make CU a welcoming place for students of color is growing. Students of color, like Melissa, are making the most of their college experience, so that when they graduate, they have choices. Because I graduated from ethnic studies, so you know I learned a lot about gender, about ethnicity, about race. So for me, I feel like that's my that's my role coming out of ethnic studies to continue having those conversations, to continue fighting for you know students of color. Sometimes it just takes finding a safe space, and even that is a growing trend on campuses across the nation, so that students like Melissa can find their path to a college education a bit less bumpy. Reporting for CMCI Pathways, I'm Callie Velarde.